Hi guys, it's Irit with a new layout and this week I did something kind of different, I guess. Um, what happened was is... What happened was is... What happened... <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Um, what happened is that I really, really liked that Webster's Pages... Um, crazy polka dot paper I mean that paper is just you know on one hand it has like a million colors and a million patterns but because of these little circles and all that white background um, it's still awesome <laughs> I don't mean awesome I mean that it's still easy to use and at least for me. I mean, I know for some people that would be like super uh, busy. But yeah, I think it's lovely and still, you know, my problem with busy paper is that I don't want something to really distract you from the photos. Um, that's like my issue because I love color and I love pattern. But I don't want someone to look at the page and not even see the photo because the pattern papers are so loud. Um, but with this one, I feel that you can still um, make your photos pop. So I am posting two layouts um, on the HipKit Club blog uh, this week. And with um, yeah, two layouts that I used the same paper, this lovely paper that I just, I couldn't cut it up. I just couldn't. It was too pretty. And... Yeah, the other side is lovely too, but there was like no competition. So I'm sorry about the glare. And this video is only like double the time. So maybe it seems a bit slow, but I felt a chatty video uh, coming up. So um, yeah, my videos recently have been short. And I think it's because I tend to switch off my camera while I'm thinking and moving stuff around. So then when I make it quadruply fast, um, it comes down to like six or seven minutes or something like that. Um, but I felt I would want to chat a bit. So um, first of all, I'll talk about the photos. And this is kind of like the summary, summary as in summarize, not as in summer. Um, layout of my daughter's three-day ski course. Um, I talked about this in a previous video um, that it's very cool that in Austria here the kids in kindergarten go to ski course. Um, I did not have such cool stuff but then again I grew up next to the Mediterranean Sea which I have to say I think is better than learning ski. But, um, yeah, you can't have it all. So, yeah, so I just took like a representative photo um, from each day. And um, I edited those on my computer on Photoshop Elements using Grad Lab, um, which is awesome. And I use it on pretty much every single photo that I edit. And... Um, some of like I think the first one from day one I think has like a couple of filters on it but um, yeah my, my go-to rules are that if the photo is great I do very minimal editing probably you know just lighten it a bit and add some contrast and if it's not so good then I go to town on the filters and stuff um, yeah, so here I think it was like a combination. And yeah, I knew I wanted to use those three photos. And I added also some um, like some typing on the photo in Photoshop. I really, really enjoy doing this lately. I've been doing it a lot with my uh, Project Life uh, photos. I will, I'm planning to do a share of all my February layouts like I did for January. Um, just because my project life is so boring, it's really not worth to 
like having a process video because it's just putting photos in and writing the journaling. So, um, so I've been doing a lot of that because I edit my photos anyway, and it's really easy to add a few words. And then if I want, I can add some more journaling. And if I don't, then I already have like the gist of it on my photos. So I really, really love it. I use pretty much all the time a typewriter font. Um, I love that look. And yeah, either in white or black depends on the uh, photo and, you know, the colors of the photo. And yeah, I was just messing around a little bit with the design. I wanted it to look like a pile of papers or like a messy, um, how do you call it? Like a message board or something like that. Uh, that's the look I was kind of going for. Um, so I wanted lots of layers and the photos are a little bit crooked and... Yeah, it was a really a lot of fun to make this layout. Um, and yeah, I don't think I have a lot more to say about this. I did make these kind of circles layered with pattern papers and vellum. And then I put that through my sewing machine. Um, but I don't end up using them. I will, I try to use them on like the next two layouts or something that I made after that. But I still didn't manage this. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll manage to use them uh, at some point because I am slowly killing my uh, kit. I think I'm completely out of pattern papers and the 6x6 pattern paper. Um, I'll maybe do something with cardstock. I don't know. We'll see. I also don't have a lot of embellishments left. So um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. Um, I also added a couple of bits and pieces from uh, previous kits. So there are like a couple of things from um, the crate chipboard that we got in January. And then there's some washi tape and like a metal paper clip from December. Um, I keep the other leftovers from you know, the last couple of kits around um, and everything works really, really well together. It's the special gift of Kimberly. And yeah, it's just really great that, um, you know, everything coordinates, even if it's from previous months. And yeah, what else? Life stuff. So I am back in university. Um, I am currently in the dermatology department, uh, not because I have any particular interest in dermatology. Uh, dermatology is, um, you know, everything about the skin. And actually, um, the when you specialize in dermatology, it's also um, specializing in STDs. Uh, but I did not see a lot of that. Um, and... Yeah, it's not my thing. It's kind of when I um, when I passed my exam from the previous semester and I went to the secretary, usually the local students get their plan for this, um, this part of their education that I'm doing now. They get it at the beginning of the year and she had this place opening. So I just grabbed it because I want to, you know, the sooner I start, the sooner I'll finish with all of this. Um, yeah, so I went, so they had a free place in the dermatology. And I don't know, it's very different. Um, you know, you can't really judge by one department or a couple of weeks. But it's just a different system. It's a different system. It's a different culture. Um, I feel every day how I wish my German were better. Uh, hopefully, you know, after months in the hospital it will get better but it's just like this huge challenge that you know I'm I'm yeah I'm trying to imagine overcoming it <laughs> um and yeah and also the interaction between the doctors and the students is a little bit different um I don't know, I really hate passing judgment, but it hasn't been, 
it's like on one hand there's like all these demands that i am expected to um like fulfill and then on the other hand nobody really seems to pay attention or care if i'm there or not <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah i don't know it's just it's been it's not particularly hard um besides the language but it's just yeah yeah it's it's challenging i i really don't know how to describe it i have two more weeks and then i will be moving on to something that is more my um area of interest um in israel i worked in uh internal medicine and my next department will be nephrology which is everything connected to the kidneys um so i don't know hopefully maybe the staff will be more interested in teaching <laughs> and um, hopefully I will find it more challenging and interesting also um, I don't know it's just the beginning and yeah I I try to you know like cheer myself up and at least take comfort in the fact that it's not um, It's not really difficult and I don't have any responsibility. So, you know, at this stage, I'm grateful for that because I can focus on uh, learning German and getting to know the hospital and the system. And I don't have to worry about, you know, making a mistake and uh, hurting someone. I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> I just want to do good. <laughs> anyway, that's my layout. And um, that will be the end of me rambling on. Um, Thank you so much for watching and for posting like lovely, lovely comments. I read every single one and I really, really love it. Um, I wish you a lovely week and thanks for watching. Bye.